All right, now we're going to finish off our glass here, or at least most of it. And first thing I'm noticing is that the border we chose down here, which is more of a match with our gradiented pipes for our base as well as our fill, um, does not now match the stroke we used originally um, for this section, which was black. So let's change that. We'll use the selection tool, and we'll grab just that top section, like so. You notice it just grabbed um, the border and fill of, of this top area. And now, <clears throat> I'm going to change the, the uh, I'm sorry, not the fill color, but the, ah, see, i got to undo, <laughs> control Z. All right, we're not changing the fill color. We're only changing um, this color. So let's pick one that's close. And I think I remember the values were 16, 26, 62, something like that. Let's see if that was close. Yeah, that looks pretty good. All right. And now I'm thinking it might look good with a little line across here, a tiny one. So I'm going to choose the line tool. And I'm going to make it a very small little line, like maybe three. And I'll leave that same value that we had before right there. And now I'm going to pull it across like so. There. That looks a little more complete. And I might even want to round off these um, pipes a little bit by making a line, oops, messed up there, by making a little line across here. Uh, but that's too, actually that looks pretty good like that. A lot of this is just experimentation as, as you know. All right, now let's create our base for this futuristic looking um, martini glass. So. I'm thinking an oval tool because I want the bottom the base to be oval. And remember the oval tool is hidden under the rectangle tool, so left click and hold to get to it. Make sure it's selected. Now, as we draw, what do we want it to look like? Well, I mean as far as our fill and our um, stroke or border. Well, first of all, realize that when you're drawing with the oval tool, like let me demonstrate here, and you pull you can make it, you can manually try to make it a perfect circle, or you can make it an elongated oval, whatever you want. In this case, I got a pretty good circle there just manually. And of course, our border we had here is the dark blue and then the black. I'm going to control Z. Now, if you want to guarantee a perfect circle, hold down shift as you pull, and you can't elongate it. You can't make it oval. It will, no matter what, draw a perfect circle. So that can be useful. Um, yeah, I might even leave that there because that looks kind of cool. And I might make a little one here. And we might add to this later. But for the base, we do want an oval-looking piece. But I want there to be a gradient to it. I want it to look kind of shiny. So let's go up to our color menu. And for our border, I'll leave it at, at this color, which was the dark color. But for our fill, I want it to be a gradient. So let's make sure that the fill is selected and then the type we choose as a radial gradient. Remember I mentioned this before? Um, where it takes one color, fades out, fades out in a circular pattern. So let's try this first. Click outside, and now I'll click and drag without holding shift, and then release, like so. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And let me undo. Although I'm thinking that it could be a little bit better. Actually, it looks pretty good. But I might try drawing it one more time. Let me 
control Z till I feel I got it right. <laughs> Oops. Had the wrong tool selected, so we want to make sure we have the oval tool. And I'm going to grab and pull like so. There. <clears throat> I think that looks pretty good. So there's a little more in finishing our glass as well as um, as, w as well as learning a little bit more about using um, the oval or circle tool and applying a radial gradient rather than our linear gradient that we used before.